welcome back guys to another episode of my Borussia Mönchengladbach save on Football Manager 2018. Today it is my first Borussia derby. It is Mönchengladbach against Dortmund. And just by looking at the preview there, a lot has happened since the last episode. Yes, we're currently lying in third, Dortmund in fourth. Uh, we're both in similar form at the moment, as you can see. And we both have big players missing this game through injury. Last Stindel out for us. We got Strobel out also. Whereas they've got Mario Goetze on the sidelines as well as Schmelzer and Marco Royce. I think it's going to be a pretty even game this one. So after our 2-1 win at home to RB Leipzig, we did go and play Hanover away from home. This game ended 0-0. I was very disappointed with this. Although Hanover had... The majority of shots they had the majority of opportunities on goal I felt so we could have nicked something from this game nicked those three points we saw a bit more of the ball whereas our efforts on goal were lethal we just couldn't find the back of the net very very unfortunate for us up next we were back at home at Borussia Park to take on Hertha Berlin I was expecting a tough game and it was as Hurt Berlin, they're not doing the best at the moment so far this season. It was very even. We did see the majority of the ball, 59% overall, whereas there were five shots for each side overall. We saw three on target, one of those going in, and one of those coming from youngster Mikael Cusens in the 64th minute. He did come on in the second half to replace Sakaria, and he made his presence known an instant impact with the, uh, the winning goal. Now, I know I said I was going to do a live com of this game in the Dutch Apocalypse second round at home to RB Leipzig. But seeing as though we've got Dortmund and Bayern on the horizon just before the winter break, I want to try and cram those in before we do uh, go on the uh, the winter break. So I decided to, to crack on with this game. And what a convincing win. 4-1 against Leipzig with Joseph Dermich getting a hat-trick all in the first half absolutely quality performance from that man back in the Bundesliga we were playing away to Hoffenheim it finished 3-0 to Borussia Mönchengladbach Patrick Hermann got things started nice and early with a goal in the 15th minute Dermich once again who's coming to the side and really taken Raphael out of the first team selection um, picking up another goal in the 50th minute Thorgan Hazard capping things off nicely with that third in the 83rd minute we did dominate possession once again. I always like to see that on Football Manager. I like my teams dominating and we did just that in this game. Up next in the Bundesliga, we were back at home to take on Hamburg and this game felt like a loss. It finished 2-2. We started the game so quickly, so confidently, so bright with Patrick Amann with the first goal in the ninth minute. Dermich showing why he should be selected week in, week out with another in the 22nd minute. And then came the second half. It's almost as if the players thought they had the game won, even though there was another 45 minutes to be played. They just sat on their laurels. They relaxed too much, and it cost us two points. Finally, to bring us up to date, we were away to Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. We lost 3-2. I'm not quite sure how we survived this game, let alone score two goals. I mean, Volland, Bailey... Bellarabi, excellent for Leverkusen. I can't really say the same for any of our players, to be honest, in this game. But how we scored two goals, how we put two past Leno, I'm not sure. I think if we'd have even got a point from this game, we wouldn't have deserved it. We didn't deserve anything from this game, and I hate to say that. Hazard, though, showed moments of brilliance. I really want to keep him at this club. I hope no uh, top side comes in for him in January or even next summer. It was our defence, though, that were to blame. Poor performances all around. Looking at the current standings, then, of the Bundesliga, it's not too bad, to be honest. We're in third. We're in a Champions League spot as it stands. It's where we want to be come the end of the season. Obviously, with me being ambitious, I want to be reaching for that that top spot. I want to be beating Bayern Munich to the Bundesliga. But then again, I do see moments in our play that probably doesn't warrant that title this season. Maybe next season, we'll have to wait and see. But we're just working towards Champions League qualification. Now, Dortmund, 
they are level on points with us. Both teams, we go into this game in similar form. I mean, Dortmund started off the season so poorly and then they've been on a bit of a decent run like we have and they've just recently lost. Now, Dortmund have one thing that we don't this season and that's Champions League football. They are not going to be as fit as we are for this game. They are having to play midweek and they have just played midweek and they've just lost against Celtic. Finished 2-0 there. So our game against them could go either way. They'll either be fired up, wanting to bounce back with a win, or they'll just be low on confidence. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it's all still to play for in their group, as you saw. And you can see they played on the Wednesday. So they've had one, two... They've had two days to prepare for this game and it's a big one. It is the Borussia Derby. Let's get this show on the road then. It's Mönchengladbach against Dortmund. It is the Borussia Derby and here are the teams. So for Mönchengladbach, I've gone with that 3-4-3. Three, three. I'm really liking this formation this season. For Dortmund, they've got Berkey that starts in goal. Piszczek starts at right back. They've got Guerrero at left back in midfield. They have returning Dahoud. He does return to Mönchengladbach here. Hopefully he doesn't put in a good uh, performance. We can make do without that. But you can see the amount of seasons, the amount of years that he spent here at Mönchengladbach. They do have Philip starting as well as Aubameyang and Yarmolenko. Now Aubameyang, I think, is their top goal scorer. He's already found the back of the net four times in the Bundesliga for Dortmund so far this season. They do have Schürrle, Pulisic, Dembele, Sahin. And Bartra all on the bench. Very strong bench, if you ask me. It's going to be a tough game, this. We are playing at home, so we do have that slight advantage. Uh, let's say to the players, this is a great opportunity to show the media what you are made of. So both teams coming into this game today in similar form. Pretty similar. I mean, both teams, we've been on a, a decent run before we uh, lost our previous game. Them in the Champions League, us in the Bundesliga. Now it's Guerrero here with the throw. It's Dermich that blocks that then. Can get on the move. Gives it to Patrick Aman. Look at the space here for Patrick Aman. Finds Hazard. And it's in for Haman. And it's 1-0. We are off to yet another early start in another Bundesliga game. It's absolutely criminal the space that Haman was given here. I mean, I can't believe Dortmund are allowing that to happen. Unless it's set me up for a, a massive fall a bit later on in this game. I hope not. But we are off to an absolute flyer here. Just going to change that to league table. So there is the current standings. We are back up to second. There's Thorgan Hazard just looking to poke the ball through to Joseph Dermich. Who is looking to score for the third, fourth match in a row. Since starting for Mönchengladbach. He's done fantastic since returning from injury. And uh, replacing Rafael Aubameyang going for that long-range effort there. Just goes wide. Someone does take the uh, the goal kick. We're just passing the ball around so nicely at the moment. So good to see everything coming together in this 3-4-3 formation. That's in from Egbo. Zakari in a bit of space outside the box. It's back out to Egbo. Swings it in. And it's Berkey that collects. Can I move that out the way? Can I... Oh, I can. I can drag it down. I didn't know we could do that. Sweet. And it's back to the goalkeeper there for Dortmund. Dortmund are just one of those teams that you don't know what to expect nowadays. Will they turn up and be poor? Bamiang's header just goes over. It's going to be a goal kick. Or are they going to turn up and be absolutely world class? Socrates here finds a Bamiang. They're trying to get him on the ball as much as possible. And can you blame them? Top goal scorer for them so far this season. But unfortunately for him, he's just not finding the space. He's not finding the openings that he uh, he relishes, which he thrives with. It is still 1-0 then as we are approaching half-time. Egbo picking up a yellow card. And Zakaria beats Aubameyang to the ball there. Here is Hazard. Did have the uh, that overlap, but time had run out. Here is Herman. Could have found Egbo. If he was quick enough, but it's back to Elvedi. It's Kramer out. Patrick Aman. We just look so confident on the ball. Johnson through to Hazard. Space here. Oh, it's going to be a penalty. Hazard brought down in the penalty area. 
And it's going to be Dermic to get another goal for Mönchengladbach. And he does. It's 2-0. Slot down the right-hand side. Keeper did go the right way. But Berkey couldn't do anything about it. What is going on here? Is that supposed to be the rain or something? It's half-time. It's 2-0. We are sitting in a pretty comfortable position at the moment. Not so much focusing on possession for today's game. But we're just making sure that we're hitting Dortmund where it hurts. Got to hit them whilst they're down. After losing midweek to Celtic. Let's uh, add insult to injury. Just switch that up. Apply advice. Nicely done. I don't think I need to make any changes. And I don't think Dortmund are going to be making any changes either. I'll have to wait and see, but there we go. We're off for the second half then. Can we uh, improve on that performance for this half? Can we maybe go and score a couple more? That would be fantastic. Get this game wrapped up nice and early so we can start focusing on our next game. I did think it was going to be this easy, especially against Dortmund with the players they have. We are approaching the hour mark. Let's see if there's anything to apply to Dortmund. Nope. So they haven't changed anything at all at the moment apart from bringing on Pulisic who I thought would have started this game I mean such a quality player I don't want to really make a change either to the side because everyone's just I, I would hate to upset the rhythm of our play at the oh oh no Patrick Command's just picked up a knock that's not good potential knee injury I think we might be able to uh, we'll keep an eye on his progress I mean he's just kicked the ball to Kramer there he's on it again here is Dermic Does this lead into a third goal no could lead to a goal for Dortmund Dembele long range effort and it's just wide right I think what I'm going to do is hold on let's just is he improving Patrick Herman it's not improving is it so I think we're gonna take him off although Dermic Dermich can play out wide as well. So we don't have to sacrifice his decent performance. I mean, he's scored a goal. Let's bring on Raphael. Apply the advice there. I mean, we can. I think Dermich plays better out on the left. I suppose we could always switch Hazard over to, to the right. Let's do it, actually. Right then, let's see how we get on with that. And it's on to Dembele. He's been a glimmer of hope for Dortmund since coming on in the second half. And the only bit of optimism for them. And that is full time. It's all over. We've kept a clean sheet. And that, for me, was the complete performance. That was the perfect performance. Clean sheet. Dortmund had seven shots. None of those were on target. They were really poor in that final third today. I'm really happy with that. To think that they were level on points with us as well. We managed to uh, to widen the gap to three. I know it's not much at the moment, but that was a really good performance. Hopefully they go on a run of uh, picking up loss after loss because that is uh, should be a platform to really build on now for the rest of the season. Patrick Amman, though, out for two to three weeks with pulled knee ligaments. Not the best. I mean, that injury list slowly but surely growing. I've got to praise him. I've got to go ahead and praise Dennis Sicaria. He has been nothing but a rock in central midfield for us. The age of 21. I mean, when you think about that potential ability, it's quite scary to think how far he can go in this save, how far he can go as a player. And he is quite something uh, something special in real life as well. If you ever get the chance to watch Munch and Gladbach, just keep an eye on Zakaria's uh, performances and his movements and whatnot. So Bayern are at home today against Leverkusen. Werder Bremen have lost also today, which is good news. And of course, it was to be expected. Bayern Munich beating Leverkusen 5-1. Leverkusen beat us 3-2 and they were dominant in that game. Whereas they've just been absolutely battered by Bayern here today. And Munich now extend their lead at the top by seven points. Not that much going into our last couple of games before the winter break. We can easily close that gap, but Bayern seem to be picking up the pace. So we've got to make sure we win our next couple of games before we play Bayern at the Allianz. That is going to be the next episode as well. Then after that, we've got FC Union in the Dutch Pokal third round. And then we have the winter break, which goes on for 
quite a few weeks, that's some Christmas break, we do return to action in the Bundesliga away to Mainz on the 13th of January. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Join me for the next one where we will be playing Bayern at the Allianz. Don't miss it.